What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Ash the Man. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we're going to be talking about Demon Slayer Episode 8. Now episode 8 picks off where uh, Tenjiro actually met Maza, which is the main anti-protagonist of the series. Now their encounter was kind of interesting because he was with his family, which it shows that he have a daughter and a wife. Now in the midst of this, um, him acknowledging that he don't know anything about the boy, which he was referring to Tundra when his act, when his wife asked the question him, uh, her and her daughter. So when that happened, um, he instantly, quickly gave a scratch to on a guy on the back of the neck of a guy, and he ended up turning to a demon and biting the girl that he was with. Now, in that kind of like formality and in that frame was kind of interesting because he was able to portray like he didn't know nothing at all face posture and everything was just relaxed and was able to still do that now in the midst of this happening where episode 8 picks off is when Tonjiro grabs the guy for doing any further damage and he yells out pretty much give a whole threat and pretty much acknowledging his you know war cry against Maza talking about he will follow him into the depths of hell and find him that was just kind of interesting seeing that he just cried out like that but in the midst of the episode we got to see Tundro, um really you know try to save this guy and save his wife also from you know for any more like bloodshed or anything because husband has turned into a demon the wife is pretty much hurt Pretty much, he got it like a chunk bit out of her fucking shoulder. <laughs> it's crazy, but um, <clears throat> now we get to see uh, Maza depart from his family. And it has to go through this alley. It's these three uh, drug strangers, and he bump into one of them. The guy tried to approach him. He literally just like did one of them like weak side punches. Guy head flew into the side of a building, and pretty much he was dead. And then the big guy tried to approach him. He literally knocked his ass all the way up to Kingdom Come. He was dead. Old girl, he was able to implant like uh, a certain amount of blood from him. For the way Mazda kind of explains is that um, when he tried to um, give somebody um, a dose of blood, he can't give them too much or they just pretty much break down and die. And that's literally what happened. He pretty much broke down and uh she pretty much broke down and died and kind of like dissolved it was it was really interesting to see that now going forward he's seen some of his underlings approached him and he pretty much put a hit out on tundra saying that he want his head brought to him pretty much kill him bring his head to me and something referring to his earring so it's some type of past that tundra has uh with you know his previous ancestors previous like blood lineage is literally something crazy so as the story progressed we actually got introduced with two new characters uh sojiro and tomoya is two demons who've been living for more than 200 years they were able to alternate their bodies to where they don't need to consume much blood to pretty much sustain their you know demon form without craving human blood now nazuku which is tundra's sister she is able to survive without consuming any blood and it has been shown that for the last two years she slept for actually two years and for some reason she's a unique trait that they want to study now the agreement that Tundra worked out with these two demons is that one they will study uh, Nezuko blood and also he will bring back one of the 12 demons of the moon blood so they can study it more to try to create a remedy that will reverse the effects of a human turning into a demon to where a demon turns into a back into a human so that's the kind of agreement now as the episode progress with them pretty much getting that understanding um Maz, Maz and, um underlings pretty much comes in to wreck the place um and pretty much wants to get the head of tundra so we get to see our next battle unfold in episode nine and that's where the episode pretty much ends there it's a lot of things that was introduced in this episode really interesting uh very informative if you really pay attention to 
the things uh, that was explained probably a little bit more but you know I'm not going to go for all breakdown of the episodes it's pretty much a review pretty much the episode was good it was great um, I did have much action in there but it was enough because of what what kind of episode it was you know laying out for us we was introduced Maza and the kind of like personality he has um, they introduced some other demons that doesn't want to eat humans but also wants to kill Maza also and we were introduced some of his underlings maybe we get to learn a little bit more about Maza and the things that he do from this maybe we get to see a little bit more of what Tondra knows with his uh, water form style so definitely interesting episode great all around the board but I just want to thank you guys for definitely tuning in uh, subscribe to the channel like comment I appreciate it very much and just turn on the notifications you know anytime I upload you'll be able to be able to go right to the video and be the first ones to you know comment like and you know hear me talk about my review <laughs> and I plan on doing a uh, Dragon Ball Super discussion I'm just kind of like proposing the information and then I'll be able to do the recording and you see that be an upload number of discussions probably be a little bit longer but not so much to where it's like a half an hour or anything like that maybe like 10 to 12 minutes and sometimes 15 but nevertheless again thank you for stopping in hope you guys have a wonderful day Ash the man out peace